Brexit has undoubtedly uh, skewered people's views on a whole host of issues. And that's why I say it's the challenge for Labour to try and cut through Brexit, to say to people, look, there are other issues besides Brexit. No, I get that. But it's very difficult when the leader <coughs> of the Labour Party, the man who wants to be Prime Minister, won't actually provide a lead on Brexit. Oh, that's and, 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 well, that's absolutely... Well, we know from the, the Question Time debate, from the ITV debate, he won't say how he as Prime Minister would vote in a, in a referendum and that is, for and, a, a Labour deal or remain. And that is true leadership. Uh, you, what we have at the moment, <laughs> well, I'm leadership? going to explain it to you. I'm going to explain <laughs> it to you, Ian. The reality is that for two and a half, three years, we've had a polarised, toxic debate. You've got <coughs> Boris Johnson. So let's Johnson. extend it by having another referendum. No, well, you've got Boris Johnson, who's dismissed half of the nation. You've got Joe Swinson, who's dismissed the other half, as well as wanting to revoke democracy itself. We are a divided nation, and it's only Jeremy Corbyn who is attempting to bring people back together again. He's on the side of all the people. He's not a Leaver or a Remainer. What he will do in government, he will negotiate a credible Brexit deal. A credible Brexit deal that will protect jobs, protect investment, <coughs> protect workers' rights, and protect the environment and deal with the concerns of people who voted leave and then put it back to the people along with Remain in order for the people to decide. So you've changed I think your mind on that, haven't you? I think it's commendable that uh, Corbyn is the only leader who won't play the game of division.